This video is showing the setup of an ODFS leg cuff. The leg cuff comes in one shell size, but there are three strap sizes, small, medium, and large. It's important to identify which strap size an individual requires by measuring the circumference of their leg at the head of the height of fibula. And then refer to the size guide in order to identify which strap this is. Our customer service team can help you with that. So the first thing you need to do is locate the position for the electrodes. So a standard setup would be one over the head of fibula with the lead facing inwards and one over the tibialis anterior with the lead pointing upwards. Start off by taking a long electro lead. Plug in your black and red as required. Take the ODFS PACE or PACE XL and turn it on. Plug in the electro lead and then go through your setup as you would do normally. Check the response to stimulation by pressing the test button. Then you would proceed to ask the patient to stand up and walk and checking that the settings are correct for all the timings. Once this is completed, ask them to sit down. Then you can unplug the device, unplug the electro lead, and then you're ready to set up the cuff. So take the liner, fold it in half at the point of the notch, place this into the leg cuff, and lay the liner down onto the Velcro. You're going to open up the leg cuff, line up the notch with the tibial tuberosity, and place it over the top. Push down so that you encourage the electrodes to stick to the liner, and then once you're happy, Gently peel the leg cuff off the leg, encouraging the electrodes to come away with the leg cuff. Now you need to thread the lead to the electrode through the nearest hole on the leg cuff liner. So pass it through, like so, and in terms of the bottom one, the nearest hole. Next, you want to ask the patient whether they wish to use the pace on the medial side or on the lateral side, because this is where you're going to attach your holder. If they have chosen to wear it on the medial side, then thread the electro lead through the nearest oval hole to where the pace electrode socket will be positioned. Once you've done that, Take the holder, place that into the attachment point and gently rotate. Then take your ODFS PACE or PACE XL, place that into the holder and connect your electro lead, like so. Next you need to connect the electro lead itself to the electrodes, checking that you get your red and black the right way around. So what you need to do is gently just peel off a bit of the liner. Make sure you have both the connection points available and connect up as required. Then to make it neat, you need to tuck the excess lead down making sure that the pins are vertical. Like so. Now you're ready to set up the strap. So place the leg cuff down and make sure that you open up the leg strap before you go to fit it. Be aware there are two plastic lugs that hold the strap in place. Before adjustment, make sure you take the strap out of the lugs. 
and once you've finished adjusting, place it back in. The leg strap can go either from the outside to the inside or it can go from the inside round to the outside. And the label always is on the inside, of the, towards the leg cuff. Once you're ready to fit it, take the plastic covers off. Give the electrodes a spray of water. Pop the leg out. Check your alignment to the tibial tuberosity. Open up the cuff and place it on. Now you need to check you've got the strap the right length. So bring it round, hook it in, and then fasten and adjust as required. On this occasion we have a wireless system, but if you were to have a wired foot switch, then prior to the patient walking, you need to connect up the foot switch lead and insert it into the foot switch socket. Once you're happy with that placement, then you need to test. So if the pace isn't turned on, turn it on. Check it's turned up to the correct intensity. And then press your test button. Once you're happy with the response in sitting, then uh, test it in walking just to see if you still get an adequate response and adjust accordingly. Once you have set up the ODFS leg cuff on an individual, you then need to mark the electrode positions on the locator sheet. This is then used by the individual to be able to place their electrodes in the correct position when replacing them once the current ones are at the end of their use. First of all, you need to check the pace is turned off, unplug the electro lead from the electrodes. Leave the electro lead connected to the pace if this is housed on the leg cuff, and then just unpeel the liner away from the shell. Take the covers off the electrodes, spray a little with water if required, and then place them onto the electrode locator sheet, like so. Once you've done this, draw around the electrodes using the black and red pen as required. And it's also helpful to draw where the electrode lead comes out of the electrode to identify which hole it goes through. Once you've done this, gently peel the locator sheet away from the electrodes and then that is it done. Now you need to put the leg cuff liner back into the leg cuff shell. So again, stick the covers over the electrodes to make it easier for you. Take hold of the electro lead socket, take hold of the cuff and place it down, face down. Plug the black and red in as required. Ignore the lead and just fold the liner in half and insert it into the shell. Once you've done this, then you can neatly tuck the lead back in and then you're finished.